You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Kashmir is famously referred as the paradise on earth. Its lush green forests, snow-clad peaks, hissing springs, apple almond orchards, saffron fields and floating gardens in Dal Lake are well known for their beauty. In order to attract more tourists to the region, a two-day houseboat festival was recently organized at the Dal Lake in Srinagar. Take a look. Winters in Kashmir Valley might be chilly, but are a sight to behold. Celebrating the essence of winters in the valley, as well as catching eyeballs of tourists, every year the famous houseboat festival is organized at the Dal Lake in Srinagar. Organized by the Tourism Department of Kashmir, the two-day festival is an extravagant show of the Kashmir Valley's distinctive shikaras or houseboats, culture, food and art. The purpose of this festival is to show that uh, everything is active in Kashmir. Kashmir is not dull in winters, we have a vibrant winter. It's a part of a, that initiative that everything is vibrant, everything is running. Everything is fantastic. So we welcome all the tourists. As you can see, even though it's winter, there are tourists all around and it's a packed house. So it's wonderful to see people coming in. And uh, we hope that we can organize many more such events so that many more people can come. We want Kashmir to be a four-season destination, not just a spring-summer destination. So because of that, we, are, we organize this festival to show that even in the middle of the city, when people say that the city is dull, it's not. It's vibrant, it's running. As you can see, there are guests, there are tourists, everybody is all around. There's media here, I think it's fantastic. Marking the festival, shikaras or houseboats were beautifully decked up with lights giving them a bright and beautiful look, especially during the dark. A floating stage was set up on the Dal Lake where around 50 to 20 local bands displayed their melodious performances. Along with live music, audience were also enthralled to witness different dance performances that showcased Kashmiri culture and traditions. An art display, laser show and other activities were also a part of the festival. We have a whole group with us. And today, we have been here for 40 years. We have a dream to come to Kashmir. And today, we have it's not just Kashmir, it's Jannat. And now we have to enjoy four days here. We are doing fun with the whole group. I think we didn't check in the hotel. We don't think we can cover it. So I'm going to tell you that every year we want to make a new Kashmir. Every year we want to make a new Kashmir. It's a very beautiful, a beautiful place. And the House Ball Festival is one of the best. We are going to the hotel and we are going to a festival. कश्मीर का इसको प्रमोट करना चाहिए बहुत ही अच्छा एक गवर्नमेंट ने बहुत ही एक अच्छा मैं कहता हूं कि एक अपॉर्चुनिटी दिया लोगों को इस फंक्शन में आने के लिए इस टूरिज्म को प्रमोट करने के लिए Dal Lake is well known across the world and thousands of tourists visit Kashmir each year to take in the valley's breathtaking splendor Attended by thousands of tourists from all around the world the festival aims at accentuating the heritage significance of houseboats in the valley, which is also known as the crown of the mesmerizing Dal Lake. Kashmir is very beautiful and unique and the people are very nice and hospitable. And um, I'm really enjoying the atmosphere and the beautiful views and the snow. It's very, very nice to see everybody and like the boats on the, yes, illuminated. It's, yeah, it's very nice. 
Organized every year in the winter month of December, the festival not only displays the beauty of Kashmir Valley, but also helps boost the business of houseboat owners. कि आने वाला जो सीजन होता है उससे हमारी प्रमोशन में बहुत मदद करते हैं हम विंटर्स में तो प्रमोशन के लिए जाते ही जाते हैं खासकर मैं हाउस बोट की बात करूंगा विंटर्स में तो ज़्यादा लोग हाउस बोट पहले फॉरेन टूर जो होता था तो वो ज़्यादा प्रेफर हाउस बोट ही करते थे चाहे क्रिसमस हो न्यू ईयर हो तो बीच में वो थोड़ा ब्रेकअप हुआ था उसका तो अभी जो डोमेस्टिक टूरिज्म हमारे हैं वो भी अब हाउस बोट को ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा पसंद करना है Kashmir is slowly becoming one of the most popular tourist spots in the country with a record number of 2 million tourists visiting the valley this year so far. The world renowned lock making industry in Aligarh employs a large workforce. This includes both Hindus and Muslims. So today in our series of beautiful examples of communal harmony from across the country we will take a look at how the lock making industry of Aligarh has been propagating the message of peace and brotherhood we have a report Aligarh centuries old lock making industry which comprises 5000 organized and as many unorganized units and employs over 2 lakh workers is famous around the world Apart from its famous lock making, the over 4000 crore industry presents a unique example of communal harmony in the country. Aligarh has a mixed population of Hindus and Muslims and they have been working together since ages to make this industry stronger by the day. ये हमारा ताला उद्योग का काम है हम ताले का निर्माण करते हैं हार्डवेयर का निर्माण करते हैं हमारे यहाँ एल ड्रॉप टावर बोल्ट लॉक्स इसकी निर्माण होता है इसमें चाबियाँ ब्राइट ब्राइट प्लांट्स इसमें हिंदू भी हैं मुस्लिम भी हैं हम सब लोग एक प्रेम पूर्वक यहाँ पर एक आपस में एक सामंजस्य बनाकर काफ़ी प्रेम से हम लोग इस कार्य को करते हैं और इन उद्योग में काफ़ी समय से हम लोग काफ़ी मतलब आराम से जुड़े हुए हैं और हम लोग सौहार्दपूर्व इस काम को कर रहे हैं Aligarh city has been making locks since Mughal period but when the british came they streamlined it into a major economic activity In 1870 a man from England established a firm Johnson and Company to import locks from England for sale in Aligarh At the turn of 20th century Aligarh was already producing 5 lakh locks per annum valued at rupees 276000 buoyed by its success the british government set up a metal workshop here in 1926 to train artisans in making locks in the coming few decades every family in the district and lakhs in neighboring ones had at least one member associated with the industry Since ages Hindus and Muslims have thrived together due to their bond of love and their passion for lock making. This passion has taught them to live together harmoniously. This wave of brotherhood has affected everyone in the city and people of different religions reside together with utmost love and peace. Main musliman hu lekin hamare andar bahut bhai chara hai. Samjhe? Ji ji ha Hindu hai wo aur hum musliman hai. हम भाईचारे से काम करते हैं बहुत कुछ वर्कर भी हिंदू हैं जी हाँ है यहाँ पर और मुसलमान भाई भी हैं सब यहाँ पे काम करते हैं कैसा लगता है काम बहुत अच्छी तरीके से करते हैं यहाँ पे हम अच्छा। बहुत जी बहुत भाईचारा है हमारे अंदर इंडिया होम टू मल्टीपल रिलीजन्स एंड लैंग्वेज इज नोन फॉर इट्स डाइवर्सिटी पीसफुल को एग्जिस्टेंस एंड रिगार्ड फॉर अदर रिलीजन्स इज एन इंटेग्रल पार्ट ऑफ इंडियन एथोस and examples like these only reinforce our beliefs in secular fabric of our country now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently television and bollywood celebrities raised the glamour quotient in designer outfits at the indian television academy awards in western mumbai city While Varun Dhawan, Ananya Pandey, Anil Kapoor, Huma Qureshi, Jitendra were some of the Bollywood celebrities who attended the function, Kishori Shahane, Shubhangi Atre, Heli Shah, Karan Wahi, Arjun Bijlani and Kashmira Shah were some of the television personalities present at the gala event. I think it's uh, 22nd year hai and I'm so happy and honored to be here. 
and uh, really it's an event we all look forward to every year. So just grateful to be back. IT Awards is organized every year by the Indian Television Academy to honor the achievers of the industry. Students in India's northern Gurugram city throng the Aravli mountain range that stretches through northern and western parts of the country to protest deforestation of the hilly area as they observed Aravli Day. Children donned animal masks and raised slogans with colorful posters in a bid to save the Aravli. It is a home for more than 200 species of trees. There are migratory birds and animals who live here. So, their life is also in our hands. We don't have any right to cut them like this. We will 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 cut them like this. The students along with the waterman of India, Rajendra Singh and other teachers stood on the mountain steps in queues as they sloganeered for saving nature. The Aravli range largely influences the ecosystem and pollution levels of the surrounding national capital region. However, in recent years, the mountain range suffered decay and deforestation owing to urbanization which has impacted the birds and animals living who had their homes in the forests apart from human lives. Sufism is being practiced for the last thousand years in India. The core belief of Sufism is that God is one and all individuals are a part of him. The Dargahs of Sufi saints have long been acting as a synodure of religious unity in the country for generations. Today we will take you to the shrine of Baba Ishaq Madina Dargah which has been uniting various faiths for generations. Here we have a report on this. Vishakha Patnam is a port city widely recognized for its rich culture, heritage and history. It is also known as the city of destiny or the jewel of the east coast of India. The city has three picturesque hillocks, each with its own religious significance. One of them is the Baba Ishak Madina Darga or the Darga Konda Hill which is visited by people of different religious communities. इस दरगाह में जो है हिंदू मुस्लिम सिख ईसाई सब लोग आजीर देते हैं बाबा का दुआ लेते हैं और जाते हैं हिंदू हिंद सिख ईसाई सब लोग आते हैं बगल में भी आपको जानते हैं कि मरियम पहाड़ भी है वहाँ भी ज़ियारत के लिए हिंदू लोग आते हैं और उधर भी उधर से लोग इधर भी आते हैं कंपलसरी जो भी हजरात इधर आते हैं विशाखापट्टन पहली बार आते हैं तो यहाँ विजिट करते हैं यहाँ के दरगाह में दुआ लेते हैं बाबा से उसके बाद ये समंदरी इलाका देखने का अच्छा जगह है तो लोग आते हैं लगभग लोग लोग कम से कम सौ दो लोग आना जाना कर रहता है यहाँ it's been said that Baba Ishak Madina Wali came from Makkah Madina along with some of his followers around 600 years ago and settled on the hill. Legend goes that the saint appeared in Aurangzeb's dream and summoned him purposely. The Darga has been standing still for hundreds of years amidst all natural calamities. An annual Peer festival is also organized in the city which is visited by not just Muslims but a large number of Hindu devotees. Here everyone comes, Hindu comes, Muslim comes, Christian comes, they come to pray for anything and they come to pray for the salam and pray for the salam. This is the history of the Dargah. It's been said that the saint has always worked for the welfare of humanity and all those who visit this shrine gets all wish fulfilled. A comic book convention or a comic con is an event with primary focus on comic books and pop culture which is attended by fans all over the world to meet creators, experts and share their love for fiction and superheroes. Recently, the Comic-Con Fest was organized in New Delhi, which was attended by geeks, fans and creators. Take a look. Video games, comic books and cartoons are surely one of the best things about childhood. The biggest celebration of pop culture in the subcontinent, comic book nerds, gamers, anime and manga lovers thronged the Comic-Con Fest Delhi, which returned with much grandeur after the two-year pandemic break. Fans, dressed up as their favourite superhero, 
or comic book characters attended the fest and played video games along with exploring latest comics and books. It's a Templar Knight from Dark Souls series. This is basically you're the, this is the first character you kill in the game, actually, and the first NPC you kill. First of all, it's a funny character to be because it's basically the first character you kill, and after that, they are the only character who are like pesky mosquitoes, and, and they will never leave your side. It's the only character who is repetitive till the boss fight as well. And second of all, it is the inspiration for all sorts of games like Assassin's Creed and the Bread Boys, etc. So it's quite a funny character to be actually. Cosplayers or customized role players dressed as their favorite characters like Thor, Batman, Scarlet Witch, Templar Knight, Levi Ackerman, Obito Uchicha, and Sasuke Uchicha, among others. This year, with over 20 leading Indian and international artists showcasing their work, the extravaganza saw big names such as Abhijit Kinney and Matt Hawkins. This year, taking the entertainment quotient a higher notch, popular stand-up comedians participated in the event. Various zones were also set up by Warner Brothers and Marvel Studios, which offered exhilarating experiences of their favorite movies. I mostly every year. It's a coffee at like get together with friends. New cosplayers are meeting, new people are meeting. Appreciate your costume. So it's like. आपको almost superstar वाली feeling आती है। I'm feeling really amazed right now because it's been some time since I've been in such a huge gathering and it's an amazing place to be. It's Comic Con and it's my first year, first time and first year here. Comic Con got its start as a convention for comic book lovers who would come together to trade magazines, talk comics, explore science fiction, and dress up as their favorite superheroes. With the rise of comic book films in 1990s, Hollywood began showing up. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Dog lovers in Nigeria's commercial capital, Lago, were dazzled at a weekend carnival where man's best friends strutted the red carpet in colourful outfits, part of a drive to encourage pet ownership in a country where dogs are often bred for their meat. Jackie Idimogu, organiser of the Lago Dog Festival, now in its fourth year, said the show was aimed at debunking stereotypes of Africans mistreating dogs. I'm trying to achieve positive pet ownership. So there's a stereotype of Africans not liking dogs or not treating their dogs the best. So with Lagos Dog Carnival, I've been able to help humans understand that dogs are not just for guards, like they're not just to, to be kept at the gate or outside the compound. American Eskimos, Neapolitans, French Bulldogs, a Siberian Husky, and American Staffordshire Terrier, Maltipu, Poodle crossbreeds and golden retrievers were some of the dogs that took to the red carpet and won prizes. Pasha, a six-year-old Caucasian Shepherd mix, was crowned Dog of the Year. He wore black sunglasses and a matching red and black scotch outfit with her owner Hadiza Saidu. Panda, a black poodle mix breed, won the Princess in Pink award for her bright outfit and the prize of green with envy went to Ella an American Eskimo dog for her floral dress. A high-level meeting of the ASEAN Japan Smart Cities Network was recently held in December at Fukushima Prefecture in Japan. After the earthquake that shook the region in 2011, Fukushima Prefecture is recovering slowly and strongly. The Aizu Wakamatsu city of the Fukushima prefecture is transforming into a digital smart city. This technological experience is being shared by all the ASEAN countries. Marking the occasion, Dr. Masafumi Mori, who is the advisor to the Japanese Prime Minister, announced the cause and the importance of the meeting. ASEAN Smart City Network
国内外の取り組みを積極的に推進しているところであります。All the participants enjoyed Fukushima's ambience. It is events like these that accelerate collaboration and strengthen s mutual relations between nations. Christmas light displays have lit up across Sydney, enchanting and encouraging residents to enjoy the festive season in the heart of the harbour city. The tallest Christmas tree in New South Wales. With over 100,000 sparkling LEDs and several hundred baubles, thrilled onlookers in Martin Place with its vivid light and sound display. Sydney's largest Catholic cathedral, St. Mary's, was illuminated with luminous projections portraying scenes from the Old Testament through to the birth of Jesus. A canopy of light greeted shoppers above Pitt Street Mall, while in Darling Harbour, a radiating giant bauble captivated spectators. Japanese giant Casio recently celebrated this 40 year anniversary of one of its best selling and celebrated watch G Shock at Roppongi in Tokyo City. This was the celebration of the history and success of the firm as well as the product. The watch is artistic as well as sporty. The G Shock watch was developed in the year 1983, keeping in mind the concept of absolute toughness. タフネスをブランドのタフとしてやむことのない挑戦を重ね機能素材デザインありとあらゆる要素で進化を続けています。The model MRG has also been developed on the same concept of G Shock and has been redesigned accordingly. The G Shock model was developed by keeping in mind the need of customers and constantly dodging all challenges in the industry. Casio keeps their spirit alive. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host, Uzma, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Yeah.